Yesterday, I'm sure you guys saw it. LeBron James scored the last 11 or so points for USA, helping them escape again. One, it was uh, South Sudan over the weekend. Yesterday, it was Germany. Final pre-Olympics exhibition. They go 5-0. and oh. I don't know if it necessarily engenders a whole lot of confidence because the world has gotten a lot better. But right. if LeBron James has to, you know, rescue the United States out of some of these tricky situations, tricky situations that he actually helps them get into, Jason Goff, mind you. Because that man, that man looked old and slow until the last five minutes and then boom, yeah. it's like, oh boy, Proton Pack. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, cool. Like, like, what what do you make of what we're seeing from soon to be 40 year old LeBron James? And I will try, I will ask this question without the hyperbole, Jason Goff. Well, that's that's damn near impossible <laughs> when it comes to to LeBron and conversations surrounding LeBron. Um, the serious side of it is is absolutely incredible. This dude can still do these things at this age, yada yada yada. Everything that we've heard, I'm not trying to brush over it. Um, and as you mentioned, there are times where you know that uh, that help side defense or that awareness isn't as quick twitchy as it used to be, and it shows up. But when he presses that turbo button, he can still do it for a good two and a half minutes, three minutes of a, of a basketball game. And I love seeing like how the hierarchy like establishes itself at the end yeah, of these yeah, games yeah. where it's like, oh, we all stars. Everybody cold. Everybody got 200 mil in the bank. And then after a while, I was like, hey, Steph and LeBron, can y'all uh, can y'all talk to y'all homies over there in the other jerseys for us? That's the serious side. The fun part is Brian ain't low. I see what's happening here. This is LeBron taking off the first month of the next NBA season right before our eyes. Mm. This is it. Remember the Oklahoma City all-time scoring champ game when he was like, nope, breaking this record tonight. You see the shoes. You see who's in the stands. I have planned this. By the way, next two and a half weeks, I'm going to be chilling. My toe hurt. Okay? <laughs> I, I'm telling y'all right now, as hard as this man is going now, and and then the Olympics are coming up here. You're gonna have to go even harder because now they got to, you know, they can gauge the pitch, right? They they can mm -hmm. time it up a little bit mm -hmm. now. And I'm sorry, that Serbian team, that Petru said, I'm like, hey, th these boys ain't got no respect for the U.S. Like I remember when dudes used to have like handshake and, and, and sign switch jerseys and you know after Barkley elbowed and yeah, Barkley elbowed an Angola. Next thing you know, that's on his mantle <laughs> at the crib, right? Like. Look at me. This is me catching the elbow, son. Now these dudes is getting over screens and kneeing dudes and going crazy. So um, I think I think this is all about to be Bron sitting out the next, what, the first month of the next season. And who could be mad at him? He's 40. But the interesting part is going to be how that affects Bronny if he's going to be on the regular mm. roster. You mm. know, if he going to be in street clothes, dad going to be in street clothes, Bronny going to have to go out there and prove his for the family, hold the family name down. It's just, it's a lot of work for a, a, a different ecosphere that the world is playing in now when it comes to basketball. They, you know, they, that whole, this the, the 92 team would have beat this team by 45. Nah, this is the reason why this team is the way it is because of that 92 team. You got dudes on this team who getting looked at as traitors. Shout out to Joel Embiid. Mm. Like, it's, it's real out here. Everybody can play basketball now. I, I don't know if people have been noticing the NBA drafts and, you know, Burner Boy you know, uh, playing at the all-star break in Salt Lake City. Like, the world has changed around us, you know. So, American basketball players, it's uh, it's going to be tough on y'all for a little bit. Like, the comparison to the Dream Team is just, like, I, I will say I got a very pointed text message from a Chicago media legend following Saturday's game. I know exactly who you're talking about already. And he said, Dream Team, my ass. That's what he, that was the exact words. And then it was followed by a phone call where he railed for 40 minutes or so about how how dare you talk about you. You're, you're absolutely right. I didn't say a word about the dream team. <laughs> I know better. Right now. Right now. One LeBron looks huge. Either LeBron looks like physically bigger or these dudes look smaller. Now, it could be some level of combination of both because he ain't jumping as high. Like, like on some of these dunks, these dunks are more arms than legs, right? Which is yeah. to be expected at 40 years old. The contrast is when he needs to go play bully ball, he going to go play bully ball. Now, the question as, as it pertains to the NBA business is, 
we know, or at least people with common sense should know, that LeBron James is not the best player in the league and has not been the best player in the league for quite some time. Is he, Jason Goff, the best American player? I still say no because I have eyes. Hmm. Is he the best American player? No. Um, you still you still have, you know, you still got Anthony Edwards, mm, who yeah, we've seen and- do work. You still got Stephen Curry still out here doing work. You still got Kevin Durant, who we're going to see doing work. That's Captain America. Put that, look, w- we're going to go from watching the U.S. win these games by the skin of their chinny-chin-chin to blowing them out because they got the greatest nuclear weapon that we've ever seen in international basketball. Just wanted to say that. No, and, and also, I think it, it uh, should also be said how much how much is falling on the shoulders after the roster composition and, you know, how it's looking on Anthony Davis, too. Yes. Like Anthony Davis, these first five games, for a guy who understands I'm not going to get the touches and the looks because this is a, you know, this is an international game with a bunch of stars on it who handle the ball. I'm usually a second option on a team, sometimes the first option on a team. On this team, I'm going to be the third, fourth option sometimes. I think Anthony Davis has had himself a, quite the, you know, solid run, not just rim defending, but what he could do taking the ball off the rim with these rules. Um, he looks like he's in decent shape. And I, I'm i glad you mentioned the, the part about LeBron looking bigger because I, you know, I was like, hey, that's that's Carl Malone's body type mm-hmm, out there mm-hmm. now. Like the stuff we used to talk about, like uh, year 15, year 12, he's going to be Carl Malone and get that back to the basket game and get that elbow, you know, fade away one leg jumper like Carl well you took it to the year 2021 20, 22 now and it's starting to come to fruition like I don't know if that's off season stuff where he, he he slows down a little bit I don't know if he's enjoying himself a little bit more but he does look a little you know look a little bit more brolic than I'm and then this is the other thing we gotta we gotta get him to stop doing uh this the shoulder like get him off my shoulders thing that's that's some dad <laughs> shit if i ever see it that's what i do <laughs> that's what i do anytime jay trying to run up on me i get sneak attacks now uh you know i just swing him off me and get him off like that's you talking about a dad in full force right there so yeah brian brian is man is brian the best american dad because i know nick wright i saw nick wright talking about this is he the best american basketball player out there no <clears throat> probably not I but still, he ain't far I, off i still i still he third uh, yeah, fourth, he's not, right he's not far off he's in the top five which is a heck of an accomplishment in itself and i know some people will take that as oh here go Vinny hating again on lebron no that, i mean the man is 39 years old you can't expect him i like, trust there's a subset of twitter where it's a, a bunch of losers you know yes. what I mean? Like uh, that's a good start. That's a, <laughs> you can talk about any conversation. There we go. And that's we, a just good go start right here. we just we just gonna leave it at that. A bunch <laughs> yeah. of losers. All right. Yeah, you can tell. Next topic.